Okay, this is just a quick video to demonstrate working with multiple views, uh, doing some segues, connecting classes and objects, and linking IB actions to interface objects. So let's get started. Uh, we're just going to use a single view application for now. And we can name this my demo. Uh, we will be using the storyboard. And let's just go with iPhone for now. And click next. That's fine. All right, we're not going to focus on this, just make it really brief. In the storyboard, you can see it's already given us a default view. This is our initial view. All right, the first thing we should do is uh, just drop a button or something on here. And let's also put a label here. And for the label, just make this view one. All right, so we have a button and we have a label, but they're not doing anything, so let's make them do something. Let's go down to the image view object and drag one of those onto the screen. Make it 120 by 120 and just center it there on the screen. Let's go to our project folder and add a file. And now let's select that file. So we've got a nice little uh, ping file here to work with. Let's change this label, uh, or title rather, to show and hide. At this point you can probably guess what I'm going to do. The first thing I want to do is create an outlet for this image view. So go to the header file of the view controller up here and let's create an IB outlet. All right, and this is what we're going to be using to control that uh, globe image. So go back to the storyboard, select the view controller, and go to the connections tab. And here we can see the world image outlet that we created. Let's just connect those. Now let's go to our .m file and uh, create an IB action. Alright, so what we're doing here is we're testing to see if the world image is hidden. If it is, we want to unhide it. If it's not, we want to hide it. That way we only need one button instead of two. Now we've made an action and we've got our button, but we need to connect those two things. So let's right click on the button, go to touch up inside, drag that over to the view controller. And we've got this uh, method here that we can select, show hide world. And now we have an action connected here, as you can see. So let's run a quick test here. All right, the iPhone simulator has started up. Now we've got our ping object here, and our show hide button is functioning properly. And the next thing we want to do is create another view. So let's scroll up to the top here and add another view controller. Let's just copy this label onto the other view controller and change it to view two so that we can uh, distinguish between the two. Now let's add two more buttons. All right, view two and view one. All right, now if we're planning on doing any actual uh, programming with this other view, we also need to add uh, some uh, header and main files for it. So select new file uh, under Coco Touch, add an Objective C class, click next. Let's call this one, let's see, make sure it's a subclass of view controller, and we'll call this one view controller 2. And go ahead and select next, click create. And as you can see, we've got two uh, other files here another header and another main file. So go back to the storyboard, and for the view controller, of view two, change the class to view controller two. And that will cause this view to be connected to these files here. And that way, if we wanted to create some IB outlets or some IB actions, we can successfully connect those to uh, this user interface.
Uh, now that that's done, let's go ahead and control click on this button and drag it over to view two. Go to modal and select the segue here and let's go with flip and let's do the same thing back to the other one. All right, so that's a quick way to set up some segues between two different views. So let's go ahead and uh, test it out. So our show hide button, of course, still works. We're at view one, we wanna go to view two, so click on this button. We have transitioned to view two. There's not a lot going on here, so we can switch back to view one. And that's about all we can do so far. What we've looked at here is working with multiple views uh, connecting objects with IB outlets, uh, connecting buttons to IB actions, uh, doing some interaction in the code with with those IB outlets, and uh, you know some basic segue stuff. And that is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching.